Good morning, students. Today we are going to study on if clause, which you have studied in grade 10 and 9. This is just a revision. Let us go through the lesson quickly. Right. If clause discusses the condition and the result of that particular condition, what the outcome of the condition is stated in the main clause and the condition is expressed in the if clause. The if clause though the conditional clause expresses an imagined situation or condition and the possible outcome of that condition. It discuss the known factors or the hypothetical conditions and its consequences. The if clause states the conditions and the main clause expresses the results of that condition when the condition could be met. That is all, but there are uh, all together there are 6 types in the if clause. Uh, you have only 4 types in your syllabus. Right. It consists of a main clause and a conditional clause. The conditional clause accompanies with the if. The conditional clauses are introduced by the word if and the possible result of the condition. We expect that the result can be met or could be met when the condition becomes true. It is expressed in the result clause O in the main clause. It is called result clause O as the main clause. For example, if you go out, you will get diseases. Here, the clause with if is called the conditional clause. And the result of this clause, if the condition can be met, if you go out, you will get diseases. This is the result. So, this is the main clause or result clause. Uh, there are four different types of conditional clauses. Altogether, there are six zero type, type 1, type 2, type 3, and mixed conditional 1 and mixed conditional 2. Those mixed conditionals are not in your syllabus, so do not bother about it. Let us go through other four types. Look at these types the if clause type 0. When we express something in the if clause, express a statement in the if clause, we should correct in grammar, otherwise it will change the meaning. So, we should memorize for which type in which tense. Look here, the zero type, if clause goes in simple present, so the result clause also in the simple present. And for type 1, the if clause goes in simple present and the main clause will plus infinitive or may plus infinitive. That means the possibility will or may. Will says most possible, more possible and may says uh, it is less possible. Right. For if clause type 2, the if clause will be in simple past and the main clause or the result clause comes with would or might or could any modal auxiliary with infinitive, but the model should be in the past. If it is may, the past of the may is might. If it is will, the past of the may, uh, past of will is should be would. So, past tense of the auxiliary plus infinitive will be in the main clause. And for the if clause type 3, the if clause goes with past perfect had plus past participle and the main clause come with would have plus past participle. Right. So, let us move on to the zero type. It expresses the general truth. It can be applied for laws or rules also. The truth is known obviously. If the truth is known obviously, we can use the zero type. Right. We assure or guarantee the result will be possible when the condition is met. 
If the condition is met, the result is guaranteed. If so, we can use the zero type. The certain result is guaranteed. The situation or the condition which one thing always causes the another. When you use a zero conditional, you are talking about a general truth rather than a specific instance of something. It, is, it does not uh, used for a particular circumstance, it is used for general truth. If and when, in this type we can use when instead of if, the when can be used instead of if as the result is guaranteed, the result is always guaranteed. So, we can use uh, when interchangeably with if. If you do not brush your teeth, you get cavities. Here, the do not is in simple present. If you do not, this is if close, this is the if close and this is the main close, it comes with simple present. You get cavities, it is a known truth. At the same time, when you write the if clause, if the if clause precedes the main clause, you should put a comma. If the main clause precedes the if clause, there is no need to put a comma. The order of the clauses do not change any meaning in the statement. When the water reaches 100 degrees, reaches simple present. Here we used when instead of if it boils. Here the if clause is in simple present and the result clause also in simple present. Uh, here when is used instead of if and this is a scientific truth. So, we used zero type for this. Here is a simple activity for zero type. Look here carefully the things that are generally true especially for rules and laws we use zero type. You can try it yourself, I think so. If I dash too much coffee, I cannot sleep at night. The verb that should be in the blank is drink. I cannot sleep, so it is in simple present. This is the main clause or result clause, it is in simple present. So, the if clause should be in the present. A drink. The subject is I, so the helping verb should be do, do plus drink, again it is drink. Let us go to the second one, I smells if you dash it, this is the result clause, result uh, main clause precedes the if clause, so there is no need for comma, I smells, this is a scientific fact, so we can use zero type here, I smells if you, the subject is you uh, and it should be in the simple present, the verb is heat. So, do plus heat will be again heat. The third one, when the sun dash down it gets dark, gets it is in simple present. When the sun dash down, so it should be in simple present, go, the subject is the sun it is singular, so does plus go gives us goes. Fourth one, if we freeze water, it dash solid, here also the subject freeze and the subject we and the verb is freeze, it is in simple present, so the main clause should be in simple present, it be is the subject is is it, so does plus becomes. The last one, when people dash cigarettes their health suffers, so people is the subject here, smoke is the verb, so do plus smoke brings us smoke. Can you understand the zero type is the easiest one? both should be in the simple present, the if clause and the main clause. Let us move on to the next topic, the first conditional or the type 1, it is called the type 1 or the first conditional. It expresses the possible result in the future for the condition in the present. 
If the condition is met at present, the result could be achieved can be achieved in the future that is expressed by the first conditional. For example, if you study hard now you will get good results. If the condition can be met at the present, the result will be in your future. To talk about the possibilities in the present or in the future, the result is possible but not guaranteed here like as the zero type. In the zero type the result is guaranteed as it is a general uh, truth or they are low, they, are, they can be laws or scientific facts. So, they are the result is guaranteed, but here the result has possibility, but not guaranteed. The outcome is likely to happen in the future, may happen, but we cannot assure that the, it will happen. For example, if you rest, you will feel better. Here the if clause is in the simple present and the result will be in the future. If the condition is true in the present, the result will be true, uh, the result can be achieved in the future. If it is sunny, we will go to the path. If the condition can be met now, we can get the result as soon in the, in the near future. Under a certain condition, a specific result will likely to happen in the future and this is the second conditional. Right. It is a slight different from the first conditional itself. Here the if condition, if clause is imaginary, it is imagined, it is not true. So, the result is also unreal, the unrealistic results from the imaginary situation. Imaginary situation in the present or future, the outcomes are completely unrealistic or will not likely to happen in the future. It can't be happened, but we imagine it. Uh, just as uh, given in the essays, if I were a bird, can it happen? No, but we can imagine it. It is expressed in second condition. If I inherited a billion dollars, I would travel to the moon. The, the, condition, if the condition is not true, it is imaginary. If I inherited a billion dollars, I would travel. This is in, in this second conditional, the if clause should be in the past, simple past and the result clause should be with would or could or should plus infinitive, the past of the models plus infinitive. If I want a million dollars, I would buy a new car. If I want, whether it is true, no. I would not worry if I were you. Here the closer, order of the clauses are changed, the main clause precedes the if clause, so there is no need for comma at the same time in if clauses only. If the B verb followed, if the I followed by the B verb, the B verb should be ver. Here we use ver not was for the if condition only. So, the B verb for I in the if condition is ver. So, I would not worry if I were you. The if clause is in past and the result clause is with would plus past, uh, would plus infinitive. Let us go through a simple activity, the activity with type 1 and type 2. When you read out the statements or sentences, you can conclude that whether it comes under type 1 or type 2. In which sense the statement is expressed should be considered. First one, if Jane dash the money, she will go to America. The result clause says will go. So, type 1 should be 
with will plus infinitive so the if clause should be under the type 1 if it is under type 1 the jn is the subject so type 1 if clause comes with simple person if the jn is subject does plus have so the answer is yes look at the second one if I had a lot of money if close is in the past tense I dash ch some to charity so this is the if close is in simple past so it goes under conditional type 2 if I had a lot of money I dash some to charity had it is in simple past so if close if the if close is in simple past the result close will be in would plus infinitive I would give the third one Ram will bring some CDs if he dash some good ones will bring this is the result clause or the main clause the order is changed here the main clause proceeds the if clause the ram will bring cds if he dash some good ones so it is in type 1 he is the subject here so the verb find accompanies with the helping verb does and the answer is finds the fourth one if I dash her, I would wear the red top. I would wear would plus infinitive, so it goes under type 2. If I dash her, be verb followed I. So, if I were not was, for if close we use were. If I were her, I would wear the red top. The last one, if Peter was hungry, he dash a hamburger. Was hungry, it is in past tense. So, there should be past in model with infinitive. He would eat. Have you understood? Let us move on to the type 3, third conditional. Here, it states that the present situation may be different something different if the condition had been met in the past if the condition had been made in, made in met in the past the present situation can be different or can be changed something different look here you should talk about an imaginary condition and its probable result in the past the present circumstance would be different if something had happened in the past. If the condition happened in the past, the present situation may vary from now. It is described in the third condition. In third conditional, the if clause is in past perfect that means had plus past participle and the result clause comes with would or past model auxiliaries plus have plus past participle would have left would plus have plus past participle if i had cleaned the house i could have gone to the movie if i had cleaned had plus past participle and the result is could have plus past participle in the first instance the speaker is capable to leave early but he did not. So, the condition was not met. Uh, in the second uh, so statement also, the speaker is capable to clean the house but the speaker did not. So, the result could not be achieved. It expresses the condition that was likely enough it could be met but did not actually happen in the past so the result also failed this is a brief of the summary of what you have studied here's a comparison that 
uh, in the first grid or first chart the if clause precedes the main clause and in the second chart the main clause precedes the if clause. That is the difference on the only different is there is nothing different we should use put a comma after the if clause if it precedes the main clause. Here I made it into a chart so I put full stop if you uh, combine those you should put a comma for the first one. Uh, the only difference here is the common noun and the pronoun. For type 1, if the game is good, I will play it, the if clause and the main clause. If we change the order, I will play the game, not it, because the earlier should be with the common noun or the proper noun and the latter can be with the pronoun. So, here the game changes it, only the pronoun changes, no more changes in the meaning. The game was good type 2, I would play it, I would play the game instead of it. If it was good instead of the game. And the type 3, if the game had been good, if it had been good, I would have played it, I would have played the game. The pronoun changes and there is a simple activity that you can go through with the if condition type 3. Try it out yourselves. The first one, it did not rain yesterday, so I had to water the plants yesterday. It did not rain yesterday, so the condition is rain, uh, it, I had to water the plants yesterday, it is the result. So, change the condition into past perfect tense. If it had rained yesterday, I this is in negation, so I would not have water. I would not have negation. And if the condition is met, it should be achieved, but the condition could not be achieved, the condition was not met. The second one, I went to bed late last night, so I am still tired now. If I past perfect had gone to bed earlier yesterday, I would not have felt so tired. The third one, we won the match last week, so when we came home, we looked really happy. Result close. The, is proceeding the if clause, we it is a negation, we would not have looked happy if we, the if condition should be in the past perfect had plus past participle had not won. Right. We would not have looked happy if we had not won the match, right. This is what we have to study for the if clause, zero type we use simple present in the if clause and for the result clause also. In the, uh, the scientific facts, the general truth uh, rules and laws can be expressed using the type one, zero type. And for the type 1, we use 
the probable results will be in the main clause. If the condition is met at present, the in the future, near, near future, we can achieve the main clause, the result. Uh, the, so, the if clause is in simple present and the result clause will be in simple future, will plus infinitive or may plus infinitive, mm, but the result is not guaranteed. For if clause type 2, we use simple past, the imaginary situations are explained in the type 2. Simple past is for if clause and the result clause will be with would plus infinitive. And for the third conditional condition that could not have been met in the past is expressed in the third conditional, the if clause will be in past perfect had plus past participle and the result will be in the past of the um, model auxiliaries could, would, should or something else plus have plus past participle. Right. Let us look at an example to understand easily. There is a conversation between mother and the son Greg, mother asks Greg, Greg I want to make a cake this afternoon, will you help me? The Greg answers, if I have time I will help you. So, there is a possibility if he has time, he will help his mother, there it is possible, but not guaranteed. And in the second instance, mother started making cake and asks, Greg, I am going to make the cake now, can you help me? The Greg answers, if I had time, I would help you, but I have to do my homework. Here, the if clause is imaginary, if I had time. He does not have time at that time. So, he imagines that if I had time, he could help his mother. So, this, this comes under the second conditional and look at the third conditional. Mother asks, now I have made the cake myself, why did not you help me? The Greg answers, if I had, uh, had time, I would have helped you. If the condition could be met, the result could be got, but I had to do my homework. Greg could not help his, help his mother here, right. I think you all understand the if clause, uh, try it out with some more exercises and you can do it well. Thank you.